Hey guys, with the festive season of love coming up, I figured I would make a short video essay explaining my take on love. So love is not something simply that is a coverall blanket topic. It, it It's different for everyone, but the same general principles apply. Can you live without them? With this, we see people touch more on financial and logistical points of view. Wrong. Don't do that. Also, it might help if you have a chance to experience it a little bit before. Two, is it healthy in a balanced relationship? Now, with healthy and balanced, not every relationship is perfect, but is it good enough to build off of is the real question. Three, is it mutual? If it's mutual, it needs to be enough. First, living without someone, you might think, oh, I've done it before, or I have a good job, I don't need them. This, however, simply is not the case. When you truly think about it, can you mentally sustain yourself without this person? Can you truly go on knowing you'll never see them again and it not phase you? If so, you probably don't love them. However, if you genuinely get excited when you see them and get bored without them, you may be in love. Don't confuse it for lust, because with love you can control yourself till the next time you see them. Lust you can't. Now, if you've spent a week or two with your significant other regular or regularly have uh, come home to them before you officially move in, it might give you a little bit more insight on how it will feel. Next, is it a healthy and balanced relationship? It's something that gets asked a lot, and now there is no perfect relationship unless you are the U.S. government in an oil-rich country. I'm just kidding. So, what that means is Every relationship will have its ups and downs. How you deal with them and come out of them determines if it's a healthy, prosperous relationship. You may regularly fight, but after a while of cooling down, you can get through it and end up together once again. If you don't fight, it's unhealthy because you're not releasing tension. While it might seem perfect, it actually isn't. Because you don't see the person's true emotions and how they feel. Uh, on a certain topic and when you fight making up subconsciously tells you the person sees a fault in you and still states that they may actually love you all this allows you to build off of and creates a stronger bond between you and your significant other finally mutuality feeling these things means nothing if the other person doesn't feel the same I felt them before I couldn't go a day without seeing the person, and calling every night was like coming home to them. But I can control myself while at work or school, simply because I can look forward to them. Then we had healthy relationship enough to where we did fight, but always came back. However, in being long distance, you can never feel the true connection being in the same room. So she didn't feel the same way that I truly did. Mutuality needs to be known, and it needs to be felt. Otherwise, it won't work out. Now, I'm not going to bash her. She did do some bad things, but I always forgave, and I did so because I knew it was my fault. I wasn't with her completely. And to that, I say what she's told me. Know your worth. I knew I was worth more than to be lied and to cheat on. I knew I deserved someone who values my time, my love, and me. So that brings us to the surprise topic four. To love someone, you need to know your worth. If you're not showing your true, if they are not showing you your true worth, then they aren't worth your time and effort. And learning about this, I realized not everyone will let you know you have worth the same way some will more than others and that's okay you just have to find the person who does the right amount you want and reciprocate it back i learned this from a relationship i recently got into i know i can't live without her because i have mediocre days without her then while we do fight we end up talking and from what i can tell it's a mutual she cares enough to check in on me and how i feel Finally, she shows me what I'm worth. She listens to me. She understands me. 
And while she isn't always able to answer right away, she's always there to support me and being with her, I know I'm worth so much. I just hope she realizes that, at least to me, she is worth so much. While I know it seems like the whole world is ending around us, mine is just beginning. And I hope she's in it because, well, to me, she is it. In conclusion, love is different for everybody. But if you can't live without them, have a healthy fighting habit, or are on the same page, and know you mean so much to each other, love will find its way. Hey, real quick, uh, now that's out of the way, I just wanted to say um, thank you to the people who have been here for me. I love y'all. Um, I'm gonna do my best to do better, and uh, I also wanted to say thank you to uh, who made the music. Uh, Lobo Loco. I don't know much about him. I found his music on com uh, Creative Commons. It was pretty good, so I used it. Um, yeah. If you ever need help, just reach out to someone. That's what I did. I'm a little bit happier. Alright, that was it. Thank you, and...